Are you curious about Calabria? In early February of 2022, I was invited to tour some seaside villages and experience the local hospitality while staying in a condo recently purchased by my hosts. This is video one of a series of videos where I'll share my experiences and we'll determine together if Calabria is worth consideration as a long-term life goal. First, let me introduce you to my hosts, Dan and Nancy, who have now made multiple real estate investments in a little area known as Cropany. What brought you to Cropany to begin with? His mother, his 86-year-old <laughs> mother. Yeah. mother. Yeah. Right now, what you're looking at is their first investment in the beachside village known as Le Mimose. Literally only two or 300 meters from the sea. And between that 200 and 300 meters is actually just a forest. So we're literally on the edge of the sea, as close as you can get here in Cropany, Calabria. Which was built by this man some years ago. You'll meet him in the next video since he acted as our guide as we visited Belcastro, the adjacent one year home village with a view of the sea. Gropani is made up of multiple villages and is populated by nearly 5,000 Calabrese. Aside from Belcastro, We'll be spending most of our time in the area around Cropany Center and Cropany Marina. If you're wondering how to reach Cropany, I took a direct flight from Alpensa Airport in Milan to La Mezzia Terme and was then picked up by my hosts. All that remained was a one hour drive past Catanzaro to find an area rich in olives and sun. I really loved getting to know Dan and Nancy as we toured real estate and met with local real estate professionals. The other idea was the kitchen over there. Um, this bigger because they love to open on this. No, no, no. Tanta luz. Yes, he says yes. the light would come in very strongly. Si, si, si. Yeah. When I visited, they were in the middle of a remodel project and visiting with local architects and other real estate professionals. We're going to be sharing their story in a future video. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, which reminds me, if you have purchased real estate in Italy and are interested in sharing your story, I'd love to connect. In the description, you'll find a link that will take you to the Davo Communities Discord server. All you have to do is head to the channel, tell your story and share a few details and I'll get in touch. In fact, even without moving to Italy or buying real estate in general, you're invited to join this Discord server. We've already got a good number of helpful community members and I expect you could find a few answers to your questions amongst the community. One of the best parts of traveling to new areas of Italy is being able to meet local Italians. The texture. On that, on that moment that you finish, you eat, uh, you eat yeah. it. Hey, it's delicious. I already mentioned Paolo, not by name, but one of his relatives runs a local agritourism destination. Okay. <laughs> Or maybe you oh, in the, the pit in the olive, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Not you. No, no. Oh, get back. See, so they've renovated all the rooms like this. And you got it. Yeah, it does. It's not so convinced we're friendly. Wow. Wow. Well, uh, you have another architect here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Looks like the tower we were just on. <laughs> so now you know why I fell in love. <laughs> I understand, I understand. You got a guard dog. Oh, look, just like Sasha. Sasha liked me. Watch out, Sasha's been here. <laughs> she used to like me when she was little. Yes, now we're starting to get ready for the season. It's too early right now. Yeah, yeah we're, we're here in January, but this would be a beautiful place to it see. It is a beautiful place. See this whole... Panorama. <laughs> they, put, over there. they put tables That's out here. We uh -huh. were just up there. Many of us dream of finding that special piece of real estate that will stand out amongst the Airbnb crowd. And I have to say, seeing what they've been they've done by incorporating these existing stones has really inspired me. The only problem with discovering such an interesting interior design at the beginning of a visit is that it influenced me on a subconscious level. The potential investment criteria bar had been raised for the rest of the trip. Though we did see some interesting investment opportunities on the rest of the stay in, in Cropany, I can't say that I found something comparable to what I had witnessed in the Ligaro agritourism destination that we saw. Are you hungry? All right. Okay. You hungry? All right, let's go. Where are we going to go? Show me where you want to go. Show me. Come on. Agritourism has been on my mind a lot lately, and at times I find myself analyzing properties in various parts of Italy. In fact, 
Just a few days ago, I shared the first of a series of videos analyzing another famous area in Italy on my other channel, Davo Trending Real Estate. Lake Como is the subject matter for this recent series, so if you'd like to join in and share your thoughts about some trending real estate opportunities, I suggest you subscribe to the other channel and turn on notifications to receive a message when these videos are posted. Getting back to Kropeni, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you like the area and what questions you'd like answered in a future video because I'll be answering them in the last video in this Kropeni series. To finish off this video, I want you to experience a bit of what I experienced, so turn on your subtitles to English since we'll be listening in Italian. Oh, I said, a country that has more than 1,000 years, basically where we are now, there was the first local habitative of this country. Praticamente nasce qui la torre del Malpasso, quelli sono i ruderi, possiamo vedere i ruderi eh, di lato la chiesa. Lì in, in fondo, no? In fondo, sì. E praticamente questo era un bosco abitato da uh, briganti. C'erano queste importanti vie di comunicazione che passavano in questo bosco. Quando uh, passava, uh, diciamo, del, delle carrozze, dei caressi, comunque con no, nobili uh, a bordo, venivano assalite da questi briganti e spesso uccisi, comunque derubati, eccetera. Allora, la famiglia Fiore, che poi era proprietaria di questa casa che vediamo qui, c'è anche lo stemma nobiliare sulla porta, decide di far costruire questa torre del Malpasso. Malpasso significava sito pericoloso, c'era cioè un sito pericoloso. E praticamente poi i guardiani, abitando in questa torre, si accorsero coltivando il terreno che era particolarmente fertile e grasso, da qui il nome Cropos, Cropani, quindi terra fertile e grassa. E allora la notizia si diffuse nel tutto il circondario, arrivò gente, cominciò a costruire queste case che vediamo qui, con l'arco che a sera sì. veniva chiuso, sì, ah, c'era un portone che di sera si chiudeva per, diciamo, difendersi dagli attacchi dei nemici. I saraceni, i turchi erano i più offensivi, diciamo, sulla costa. Mm. Quindi questa porta eh, ne esisteva un'altra dalla parte opposta, adesso non viene più, ma ne esiste più, e veniva anche quella lì chiusa. E questo è il primo luogo abitativo, il, bo, il burgo, il borgo. Mm -hmm. Poi quando il borgo fu pieno di case, quindi non si riusciva più a costruire qui all'interno, costruirono fuori della porta e vediamo le case oltre l'arco fuori, e quello si chiama la terra, okay. la terra, questo era il borgo e quella era la terra, insomma. Oh, okay. sì. la, la, la borgo? Eh, questo borgo. Il, il, questo borgo. Borgo, sì, sì, sì. Il borgo, sì. il borgo. La terra. La terra, quella è la terra, sì. <ride> Belendo, la terra. Ogni chiesa, ogni chiesa ha una devozione particolare, quindi per esempio Santa Lucia eh, si va a Santa Lucia, San Giuseppe si va a Santa Caterina, ogni chiesa ha un santo, no? So the, the poor cioè. were buried in the middle sì, sì. and the rich were buried Ricci in each of the, the edges. Sì. If you'd like to see more of this tour, please let me know in the comments because right now it's not scheduled to be part of this series. See you next video.